today's toy spot we are having a look at the diamond select toys marvel select daredevil special collector's edition action figure daredevil looks like he comes with a cross doesn't look like he comes with a display stand but he also comes with his billy club um, this comes to us from the folks over at diamond select toys there's the side of the package right there with daredevil and spin around to the back other figures available are spider-man the unmasked variant of daredevil and abomination a brief read-up says, known throughout Hell's Kitchen as the man without fear, Daredevil patrols dark corners, alleys, and rooftops to rid the city of criminals forgotten by the law. His not-so-secret double life as Matt Murdock, attorney at law, uh, provides him with the perfect cover, however, also jeopardizes every case he has ever tried. Uh, through blind, though blind, Daredevil's heightened senses and radar vision allow him to do what he must, what must be done, even if it destroys him in the process. To check out more from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys, you can go to www.diamondselecttoys.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, we're getting a better look at Daredevil, the special collector's edition figure. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. First thing we'll have a look at is the cross that comes with Daredevil. Looks like a graveyard kind of cemetery uh, cross. It uh, it doesn't appear, and I'm not seeing it anywhere on the cross itself. It doesn't look like there's a, a peg, a peg point anywhere you can attach Daredevil to. It's a shame that like he couldn't have pegged on to the side something because he's got peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Granted, but there's no real place that you can attach it. You can kind of just have him straddled, like holding the side of the cross. There's really no place that you can clip him onto. Paint's quite nice, though. It has that aged look to it, especially like near the base of the cross and, and down to the bottom section there, right? Kind of has that greenish off color as if the stone had been there for a while. It's a nice touch. I like that. It's hollow on the underside, but get the cross. Daredevil also comes with his Billy Club, though extended. We can take it out of his hand. Ah, a little stiff. There we go. It's uh, it's already extended to more like a nunchuck weapon. There's no section actually even on Daredevil. And Daredevil normally comes with an area where you can kind of attach, even like fold it up. You could kind of put the the club into some area on him, but there's no area where he can hold it, so... Unless he's holding it in hand, there's really no place for it. And for that matter, too, there's only one hand that can hold the club. The other hand is 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 molded shut. He's a skinnier figure, too, than also what I was expecting. And I guess I kind of like it for that reason. It doesn't look like he's relying on just that basic standard build. You know that standard build that you see with a lot of superhero figures? It's kind of like, well, even like when you start looking at Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends have about three or four body builds that they kind of always fall back to. And uh, it, it's nice to have different, it's nice to have different builds per character. Daredevil, I wouldn't consider to be a very large superhero. I think he's much smaller in frame. So I think this one fits the bill pretty good. Paint's quite nice too. Let's bring the camera in a little bit here. I like the paint on him. It's the same color of kind of this, it's not quite a red. It's almost almost a pinkish red. And he's got the darker wash that's on his gloves. Well, he's got darker color on his gloves anyways. And the boots. But then he's got a darker wash on the bicep area. Right around the shoulders. And especially in the face. The face is nice. I like the face. I think what I like too also about it is it's not a normal Daredevil face. I wish I had actually the Marvel Legends version figure. I could actually compare the two. Uh, you know, side by side. I think this one just kind of looks better. Now, the Marvel Infinite Series Daredevil, I really like the face on him, but he didn't translate well to Marvel Legends size. This one, I think, is just different. The eyes, I think, is about the only thing I could comment on as to the one thing I'm not super crazy about. The eyes just seem like they get lost. I wish, if anything, that they had been lighter in color. Maybe a color that isn't anywhere on the rest of his body, but just this a brighter red, just so that they stand out. Because if not for that, they do kind of get lost in the mix. He's got his horns, though very small. I think I almost appreciate them being smaller than uh, than the larger horns. 
the other figure as a whole, I think I like. I think he comes together quite nicely. And the biggest praise I could give a figure like this is because his build, is that his build is just not common. He's he's a little lankier in size, but I think it fits better for Daredevil than just giving him a basic body build. When it comes to the articulation on Daredevil, well, he has the ball joint in the head. Does tip up, doesn't really tip so much far down, and does rotate all the way around. His horns are a little prickly too. Shoulders are on a hinge, ball hinge joint. They rotate all the way around. He has a hinge in the elbow. Doesn't swivel, mind you. Just a swivel point in the top shoulder. He has a swivel in his hands. And he doesn't have a crunch, but he does have a swivel in the waist. And then his legs go forward and back and out. Double bend at the knee. And he's finally got a hinge in the foot. He's a little bit older of a figure. You know, as we saw by the packaging, he's not a new released figure. I don't really feel like they could really improve this figure much. I think he does everything well. I also like the, the sculpt that they put in his torso too. It's much more muscular than some of the other figures that we've seen too. He's, he's well put together. I think maybe give him a display stand, maybe give him variations to the club so that he can display them. I kind of wish that this could sit into his hand a little easier, but then it would be a little loose. So there's really no winning when it comes to that. Daredevil, great looking figure. Oh, and also, also let's not forget the eyes. I feel like the eyes could be a little bit lighter in color so they, they stand out amongst all the other red that's going on here. Uh, Spot picked this up from his local comic book store and uh, going to definitely add this guy on the shelf with, my rest, with the rest of my collection. He's a great looking piece. I like him. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Daredevil Special Collector's Edition figure. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots in your way. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.